the values of a particular distribution are uniformly distributed between 6 and 11, we're asked to use the graph below to determine the probability that x is greater than 7 and less than 10. So looking at the graph, notice how the probability density function is this horizontal line here, which again indicates we have a uniform distribution. The minimum value of the random variable x is 6, shown here on the left. We often refer to the minimum as a. The maximum value of the random variable x is 11, shown here on the right, which we often refer to as b. The entire distribution rectangle has an area of 1. Since we have a probability distribution, we know that some of the probabilities must equal 1 or 100%. So knowing the area of the large rectangle is equal to 1, we can determine the area of the blue rectangle by thinking of this as a fraction bar. To do this, we will divide the large rectangle into equally sized parts or pieces. Let's create pieces with width one unit. Notice how we have three equally sized pieces shaded blue out of a total of five, and therefore the blue area is equal to three-fifths, which tells us the probability that x is greater than seven and less than 10 is equal to three-fifths, or as a decimal, three divided by five is equal to 0 0.6. Another way to determine the area of the blue rectangle would be to use the area formula base times height. To do this, we would need to find the height by determining the probability density function, which is f of x equals one divided by the quantity b minus a, where again b is 11 and a is six, which gives us f of x is equal to one-fifth. And therefore, one-fifth is the height of the rectangle, this length here. And now we need to find the length of the base, which is this length here. To find this length, we take the value on the right and subtract the value on the left, which gives us 10 minus seven, which is equal to three. So the area of the blue rectangle is equal to the base times the height, which is three times one-fifth, which of course also gives us three-fifths, or as a decimal, 0 0.6 which is the desired probability. I hope you found this helpful.